and so the cycle begins again! I always get it really long and then I chop it all off and... Well, this time I added a side part into the mix, but I mean... Besides that, it's fun to play with because it's so short and you can just like do anything with it. And it's weird because I'm so used to going like this, but then it ends like five, six, seven inches before it's supposed to. So it's like, no, wait, oh, it's all done. I have to embrace the haircut. And so now the side part haircut is fully incorporated into my life because I can't pull it back. Actually, there's this nifty clip thing, yes, I said nifty, that I can use and I can go like that or something. And my uh, headband works pretty well with this. So yeah, spring break has been awesome. Uh, we went to the museum, and that was really fun, and we saw the IMAX after that. I had a blast because, well, Andrew and Maggie were freaking out. I was like, whoa, and I mean, that was probably the best part was that beginning part where it's like, ten, nine, eight, ah! and then you're like, having a heart attack but excited at the same time. I was actually wearing a black shirt before but then I realized you couldn't see the bottom of my haircut so I decided to change into a white shirt. And then the zoo with Maggie was amazing um, and it was super fun because all of us got along well even though I had never met the other two. Ooh, but it worked out. We're going to the Tesla thing. And I think I'm going to look up what is at the Tesla exhibit because when I think Tesla, I think Tesla coils, like big Tesla coils, like in Sorcerer's Apprentice, which was super cool. But that may not be the only thing in the Tesla exhibit. However, Dad said it was like a 50 minute show. So yeah, I'm guessing that 50 minutes could not be filled with only Tesla coils. So I'm going to look that up for a sec. Be right back. Okay, well, trying to look it up was an epic fail because I don't even know what museum we're going to, so uh, I have no idea because apparently there are a lot of Tesla electricity shows. Uh, yeah, I can't find anything on it, but I know that it's a uh, show about Tesla, who is a scientist who made Tesla coils. Which are giant electric things that like zzz, 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 like in Sorcerer's Apprentice. So that's all I know. Yeah. Well, I don't think even Dad really knows what's in the show, so it'll all be figured out once we get there. But Dad's super excited about it, and so am I, cause I am secretly a little bit electricity slash fire crazy at heart and I adore all things that have to do with them and so I mean like I don't go crazy over light bulbs like <laughs> but um you know it's just like free like electricity robot stuff and so I got college mail from this one um college that and it's like don't you know I'm a sophomore but anyway um from this one college and they had engineering classes like electrical classes and I was like that sounds really cool and then it said with robotics option and I was like that sounds really cool <laughs> so I was thinking of reevaluating my life again because I do that every few weeks and it never sticks around for long but right now robotics engineer sounds like a really cool direction for my life probably won't last long but hey maybe it will maybe I'll end up being a robotics engineer when I'm older like with all the electrical stuff done and I'll be able to make tiny motors and make them do all this like hello my name is Bruce and respond and be insanely awesome and then I won't need friends because I can just make robots all the time Ninja robots. That's what I'll do with my life. Got it. Okay, Lisa, I am super excited that you decided to do graphic design because I think that you'll fit in really well there. I mean, 
it's a hunch. Maybe you won't like it, but I think that you've always been art oriented, and that's a career path that would allow you to do art um, all the time. And even if you do have like a certain amount of limitations within it because it is marketed and it is like it's for like a certain purpose and you have to like conform you know you so I'll, you certainly have a lot of liberties within it and so you can do whatever you want and like they expect you to go beyond the expected and bring them something amazing and so I think that you'll be really good at that and uh, I think that you'll probably make a lot of friends there in those classes too because I don't know artsy people are usually pretty cool and so <laughs> there will probably be all the awesome kids in your graphic design class maybe I don't know but hmm I don't know how Spanish is going to fit into your graphic designing, but you'll find a way. Carolyn, I think you should be punished because the first week that I didn't post my video, I didn't even have access to the computer, so Windows shutting down is no excuse. Well, I mean, unless you want to change the rules and actually make rules that if you're not able to make a video, then you shouldn't be punished, which would probably be a good thing. Yeah. Let's do that instead of punishing Carolyn. Okay! Except, like, we have to, like, pinky promise that we're never going to use that as an excuse when we forget. Pinky promise. Okay. 